When I do code reviews, a lot of the problems I come across has got to do with naming conventions. While Laravel is probably the most well-known PHP framework in the market, it is used by thousands of companies and developers every day. That's why it's of the utmost importance to follow strict naming conventions and standards, not just to make your code easier to read so that you and your team can keep your project code consistent. Hey guys, I'm Dan and this is Pixel Fix. And I really hope this video will help you improve the way you follow naming conventions within your Laravel projects. Okay, so let's start off by looking at routes. Now, when defining routes, the first part you normally define is the part you would see in the browser. When it's a single word, it has to be plural. Like for, for example, slash posts. And as you can see, this is a good example of what it should be. And this is a bad example, is a post which is singular. When you have multiple words in your route, it should be separated by a hyphen, or it's normally commonly known as kebab case. And only the last word in your route should be plural, as you can see in this example. Okay, so let's move on to controllers. Controllers should be named similar to your models, which is in Pascal case, and then suffixed with the word controller. Okay, so let's move on to models. As previously mentioned, your models should be all singular, and in the case where you've got multiple words, it should be in Pascal case, and both should be singular as well. I will also leave a link in the description down below to an article that outlines all these naming conventions. Okay, so now let's look at methods and properties. Both methods and properties should be in camel case, but it doesn't matter if it's singular or plural, it depends on the usage of the method or property. Okay, so let's look at table names. Now, your table names should be the plural version of your model. So, for example, our model is post, but our table name is posts. Now, when you have a table name that has multiple words, for example, post comments, your model is the singular version, which is post comment, and your table should then be in snake case, but only the last word in the name should be plural. Okay, so now let's look at file names. File names should always be in snake case, and this includes your blade view files, your configuration files, or any helper files you would create in your project. Okay, so now let's look at policies. Policies should be named the same as your models and suffixed with the word policy. In the case where you have multiple words, again, like post comment, your post comment is the same as your model, followed by the word policy. Okay, so let's look at service providers. Your service provider name would depend on what your service provider does, but normally you would name it with a singular word followed by the word service provider. And that's it for this episode, guys. I really hope this will help you in your future projects to implement better naming conventions and standards. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do so now. And remember to turn on the notifications so you don't miss out when I upload more content like this. Until the next episode, guys. See you later.